New Jersey, what is going on guys? Just Ram with you here and I'm back for another video and I'm kind of just doing a follow up to the follow up to the follow up because as we know, New Jersey's legislation, man, it's it's like a soap opera around here. Um, it just keeps, it just doesn't, it doesn't cease to amaze me. I'm going to try to make this short. There's really not much to say about it. It's, ma it's mainly just my opinion uh, at this point, but to sum this up in a nutshell for you guys that are in a rush this morning, that bill, the chaser bill, the follow up, the cleanup, whatever you want to call it. It's already been pulled, guys. There was uh, disagreements on it uh, from a, a couple of the lawmakers, and the uh, senate, senators had pulled their names off it. Um, one on there that I saw was uh, Teresa Ruiz. I might be mastering her name, but uh, to be honest, guys, if you don't know anything about her, check her out because not like she's a product review or anything like that. <laughs> Sorry, my medicine. <laughs> um, but no, check her out though. She every time she ever speaks, I on all the New Jersey ledge stuff that I've covered, and whenever she speaks, I am like I'm glued. I listen to what she says. I really like what she stands for. I like her. I like the way she talks. I like her. I, I don't know, man. She just has a, a way of words. Um, very interesting person. Uh, I actually wish she would run for governor, to be honest, hopefully next year or, you know, when that, when that opportunity pops up. Uh, but guys, I, back on track here, she wasn't even on this. And then I saw in an article that she actually, she was one of them that pulled her name off it because she, she didn't stand for it either. Just like I didn't stand for it. And a lot of it was that if you watch my last video, it had nothing to do with the actual anything other than the basically the 18 and 20. I was absolutely disgusted with that, guys. I thought that was like the worst thing you've ever could have done. So archaic, such a such a just three, four, five hundred steps back to where we are. We're trying to make this we're trying to make cannabis legal and we're trying to make it, um, you know, but you guys are trying to over govern it and over restrict it. And I think at the end of the day, when your own senators and lawmakers are saying and they're even talking to you on your Zoom podcast, and Scartori, you know, I'm sure you're not going to ever hear this, but <clears throat> you make an analogy about you pushing a boulder up and it falling back down on you, right? But here's the problem, man, is that you are over-regulating stuff and you are you are drunk on power, man. You are you're sticking your finger in that electrical socket over and over and over again. You're getting zapped and you don't understand why. And it's basically because you are trying to make something legal, right? But you're saying it's not about the money, but you're trying to max capitalization on anything. So not only do you want to sell the product, but you want to make sure that there's still tons of fines in place, that there's still jail time and weird gray areas. But quite frankly, man, what you're doing, everyone sees it. Every single person sees this. Every voter, the people that voted for cannabis, we did not want this. So, you know, it's no surprise that you are getting constant, um, under fire, under pressure. People are not thrilled. You have not gotten any articles written, uh, you know, praising the work you guys are doing is because nobody's really thrilled with it because you're just sitting here over-regulating something, you know, and it's crazy guys. Like the, the 18 to 20 penalty, it still boggles my mind because at that age you can go to the army, right? You can sign up. And if we went to war today, you could go and get killed for your country. Right. But if you smoked cannabis or not even smoked, if you just had it in your car, right, you could lose your license for six months and go to drug counseling. And that's terrible, guys. I mean, I, I get it that people are like, you know, we just saw uh, there's an article online now. Of course, they, they, they love to do this, guys. Uh, an article about last year, a 19 year old individual who killed a friend in the car and said I was under the influence of marijuana and I was driving recklessly. What I would like to know about that article is, was he driving with anything else in the system other than marijuana? And even if he was solely on it, guys. I'm not going to say, oh, you, you can't kill anybody on cannabis. No, no, no. You, I'm sure you can if you, you smoke a lot of it. You're an experienced user. But, um, you know, uh, last week there was another thing, another another thing about cannabis thrown in there about a young couple that uh, let a three-year-old eat an edible that was left out, you know, unfit parenting. Um, and instantly, boom, that's up there. There was a story, guys, about a Porsche that, like, launched itself across a highway and flew into a two-story building and killed, I think, two or three people in that car. And there was, like, there was some, there's some pretty crazy background to that story. And guys, that I, I still think to myself, how, how does that fizzly even happen? Right. And that was from alcohol. And, and I'm not saying that, Oh, see, look what alcohol does, but like, there's tons of stuff. People get DWIs every single freaking day. People are, 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 it happens, man. I mean, I've, I've experienced myself so many drunk drivers in my life. Uh, cannabis isn't going around killing people. Like, like we want it to think that's, that's, they, yes, they want to put these strict penalties in there, but it's it's really just to make money somewhere in some aspect. There's a reason why we still have 20 year prison sentence um, and tons of fines for home cultivation. There's a reason why they want to put in uh, still fines, top dollar, high dollar fines for for the 18 to 20 year olds um, area. There's there's reasons why they want to overregulate it and cut out guys like the New Jersey weed man uh, to put him out of business. They want to overregulate it, overtax it, over everything it. So this way they can have every single penny of it. Um, at least 
certain people do, not everybody, uh, but certain people of this bill are looking to do that because really in a nutshell, guys, the true thing is that like signing the decriminalization bill, uh, which the governor, by the way, we don't know if this is going to happen or not, but he might not sign the decriminalization bill still. Just sign that bill, man. Just sign the freaking bill so we can have that done and over with. And then after decriminalization has been signed, figure out all your crazy marketing schemes then. But like we are one of the only states out of 15 states that has legalized cannabis and we are trying to make it so difficult. We're, we are we are literally a soap opera, guys. And I, I had said this in a video, I think uh, about a month ago that I can pair us to the Jersey Shore. It is, it's exactly, I mean, at first I thought maybe it was just me, but like, now even your own lawmakers are like, guys, we don't we don't stand about this. We don't we're not for this. I mean, our constitutional amendment changed right on the first, and now even after the first, you're trying to put in a yeah, you're trying to change you're trying to change stuff, and I don't like that. That's very sneaky. That that is that is that is exactly why politicians get a bad name, man. For exactly what you're doing, Scartori. Stop, you know, and don't get pissed off. And others, other people that are blaming each other, saying, oh, it's the governor's fault. It's this. Yeah, the governor needs to sign the decriminalization bill. There's no doubt about that, right? But guys, stop blaming each other. Stop stop throwing poo back at each other's faces. Really, sit down. All you guys sit down at a table, go around, have one person take notes and and figure out what you like and what you don't like to the bill and come to some type of agreement. Instead of instead of now leaving this guys that like you guys are still fussing around with it, we're never gonna have recreational. And you know, with that being said, I'm not even at first I was kind of annoyed with that because I was like, man, I'm a medical cannabis patient, I'm driving all the way down to Egg Harbor. It's putting a lot of stress on my vehicle, less stress on my life. I, I I was always stressing about my medicine. And then and now I have Delta 8, so I'm not even really too concerned about it. I, I know it's going to eventually happen. I, I'm just sitting back. I'm going to take it one day at a time because if I if I sit here every day and fester over what New Jersey legislators are doing, I'm going to lose all my hair. So uh, I think that's it, guys. I think um, I think basically we're, we're back to square one. We have the bill has been thrown back out. Uh, it is not going to go forward on Monday, which, which is a good and bad thing because – the crim can technically get stalled, but uh, hopefully there's enough feedback and and maybe Teresa, she gets out there and tells the governor or slaps him upside the head, sign that bill, man, because really, like, what are you waiting for? Why are you trying to make it so that we're having a worse gray area? You're still allowing people that can get arrested because I think they're, you know, I, I, I don't even know, guys. It's so, there's so many gray areas that like, I, thank God I have a medical card. That's that's all I'm going to say because I would hate to be in a, in a situation right now. I'd hate, I would hate to be I'd hate to be black, brown. I'd hate to be any type of stereotype right now in, in one of those like high drug areas where this crazy stuff is still going on. New Jersey weed man, I hope to God that you're you're safe, you're careful. Nobody's like coming and stomp your doors down. Uh, rec users, guys, just stay at home, guys. That's it. Don't you know? Don't bring your stuff out with you because I, I personally think that people are still just a little too power hungry, a little bit too you know, uh, over exusing, over using their force. Um, and there needs to be, this needs to come back down. We need to say, guys, we voted 67% of this voted. Let's, let's get what the people wanted and not what you guys, cause you guys that, that wanted cannabis, uh, as legislators, you want it for money. I'm sure. I'm sure if I checked your voting, uh, registration or what you guys did, you probably, you, you did vote yes. And if you're voted yes, and you, you're not trying to give anything to the people, you know, that to me says, well, you want the money aspect. So I totally get why you want to govern every single place that you can and you still want to put people in prison. Anyways, guys, that's my rant today. Just ran with it here. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for tuning in. Any new subscribers, thank you very much. If you see if you see these videos, share them, pass them around, talk about them, tell your friends there's some crazy guy on YouTube still talking about cannabis and stay safe, stay medicated and have a great weekend.